join me for day 10 of our Advent reading, Searching the Night for Light. On the night Jesus was born, I wonder if Joseph ever prayed, Father, this all seems so bizarre. The angel you sent, any chance you could send another? If not an angel, maybe a person. Some company would be nice. E even a shepherd would do. Perhaps he did, perhaps he didn't. But you probably have. You have stood where Joseph stood, caught between what God says and what makes sense. You've done what he told you to do, only to wonder if it was him speaking in the first place. You stared into the sky, blackened with doubt, and you've asked what Joseph asked. You've asked if you're still on the right road. You've asked if you were supposed to turn left when you turn right. And you've asked if there is a plan behind this scheme. Things haven't turned out as you thought they would. Each of us knows what it's like to search the night for a light. Not outside a stable, but perhaps outside an emergency room or on the manicured grass of a cemetery. We've asked our questions, or we've questioned God's plan, and we've wondered why God does what he does. The Bethlehem sky was not the first to hear the pleadings of a confused pilgrim. If you are asking what Joseph asked, let me urge you to do what Joseph did, obey. That's what he did. He obeyed when the angel called, when Mary explained, and when God sent. He was obedient when the sky was bright and when it was dark. He didn't let his confusion disrupt his obedience. He didn't know everything, but he did what he knew. He shut down his business, packed up his family, and went to another country. Why? Because that's what God said to do. What about you? Just like Joseph, you can't see the whole picture. Just like Joseph, your task is to see that Jesus is brought into your part of the world. And just like Joseph, you have a choice to obey or disobey. Because Joseph obeyed, God used him to change the world. Can he do the same with you? God still looks for Josephs today. Men and women who believe that God is not through with this world. Common people who serve an uncommon God. Will you be that kind of person? Will you serve even when you don't understand? No, the Bethlehem sky was not the last to hear the pleadings of an honest heart. And perhaps... God didn't answer every question for Joseph, but he answered the most important one. Are you still with me, God? And through the first cries of the God child, the answer came, Yes, Joseph, I am with you. Through the small face of the stable-born baby, he says yes. Yes, your sins are forgiven. Yes, your name is written in heaven. Yes, death has been defeated. And yes, God has entered your world. Emmanuel. God with us. Let us pray. Dear God, we have faced dark nights of confusion, and we know there will be more. And, but we thank you that Jesus was born, and you found a way to reach us in our lostness. Help us to always see you, to obey you, especially when it's darkest. In Jesus' name, amen.